putting a little overtime in tonight. Got something very exciting to show you. Something I've been waiting to see materialize for two, two, three years now. The fuselage sides. I've got this main, I guess, longeron, which runs the entire length and ties bulkhead 1.1. That case is in the fuselage. On the real aircraft, there's a wall, which I'm not going to duplicate that. Well, <laughs> like I keep saying, if I get money, I'll duplicate it, but it, it's I'm not hard up to do it because it you're not going to see the wall, and it's a, pretty much an unnecessary structural element. Unless that billionaire wants to see this fly. I guess then I could go back and add that wall in. I don't know. I'm just talking. But I'm really happy that that's in there now and completed. Because now we have bulkhead 2.2. Got those three stringers. And I think about 102 is right there where I'll have to splice it. But you won't see it, but... Man, those are, those are pretty. I like them. Of course, that continues whoop, like so. And then this curvature ups like that all the way down. And wherever this canopy, because I believe he's going to go flush with that. And wherever this canopy intersects this line, that's when these... These fairing things start and it's about right there on the real aircraft what I'm actually going by in these areas is there's uh, some fantastic crash site pictures of the uh, the RB 36 that crashed in Bygoners Cove or Warriors Cove in Canada however you say it Goose Bay there's two of them up there that are really close One's an RB36H that did a controlled flight right into a mountain and uh, killed, I think, 19, 17 people. And the other one was a B36H, which landed short of the runway by like eight miles or something. Uh, the one I just mentioned, it's not very well photo documented at all. There might be five pictures of it totally on the internet. But there are some really good pictures of the, uh, I, th I think it's the Ellsworth B-36. That's how the uh, the base, Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, I believe, got its, it was renamed to honor him. But there's really good pictures looking straight down on the, uh, on that area of the fuselage. But man. Wow, I'm just, once again, just tickled to death that that's in there. So today, if you've been following me, I got the bulkhead three very well started. This, and I have all the components laid out over there ready to go, so I just got to rivet them together. Those are just tack riveted one or two on each side. I'll go in there and reinforce everything. But once the uh, once you put the skin on and it stresses it, it just really makes things tight, strong, rigid. Wow, I can't I can't wait to work here and get this get all this done, get these fairings in here because that's going to come flush. You can't see what I'm trying to do, but these are going to have to drop down or something because. That's flush, and then it's going to go up a little bit where it meets that. We'll figure it out. Well, I'll see y'all next time.